Oh, I won't have time? <laughs> How quick do you think I can do this? Okay, the first thing we need to do, first thing we need to do is see do they have anything in common like we did in the last problem. Do they have anything in common? No. So now I have to go ahead and use my diamond or my x to help me determine what my factors could be. All right? So one way I could do this is my box, right? And the box, we tell us 4x squared plus 1. I don't know what's going to be going up in these two boxes, though. So I need to use my diamond. 4 times 1, right? We do 8 times c, which is 4. Then my middle number is negative 4. So I figure out what two numbers multiply to give me 4, what add to give me negative 4. Negative 2 and negative 2. So I can say this is going to be negative 2x, and this is a negative 2x. Or if I wrote out that total area, it would look like this. 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 1, right? If I just wrote all this out then. Then I can factor my grouping and pull out what do these have in common. These have a 2x, so I'm left with a 2x minus 1. Here I can factor out a negative 1, which will leave me with a 2x minus 1. Since these are both the same, I can factor that out. 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. Over here, I can look at this.